All right, good afternoon. Scott here from Metal Detect Florida. Um, I'm out on a private owner's property here. He's just purchased a bunch of properties. Asked me to come out and check them out before he does too much demolition work. Um, there were six homes built here between uh, 1896 and um, 1930s. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit them up. Today I'm using the uh, Garrett AT Pro. Um, I'm going to start with the stock coil and go from there and see what we can find. So I will get back to you. He's out here getting ready to start doing some mowing. One of the lots down there is mowed and uh, there's another one behind me. So we'll hit it up, see what we find, and I'll get back with you here shortly. Alright, so just like I thought, the area is real trashy out here and it's made it very difficult um, to hunt. So. I've switched out to the uh, NEL uh, sharpshooter coil, um, the 9.5 by 5.5, and when you turn these on, you put this new coil on, you need to hold your power button down until it resets the coil to get it to adjust, and then go into the mode that you normally run, which I use zero, I run my iron up to 35, and we can get back to hunting. So I'll let you know how it goes with this new coil, and this is the lot I'm getting ready to hit here. All right, so back out in another location. Still using the AT Pro with the sniper coil. And uh, definitely finding what we want. Found a couple staircases, couple structures. Um, just not finding anything of value. Uh, buildings are burned and torn down, so there's just a lot of trash. Typically what I run into in these. Um, finding the locations, just not finding the treasure. I'm going to keep hunting this area, see what I can come across, and uh, get back to you and let you know. Alright, so I'm way out here deep in the woods, and uh, I got a real strong 81, 82. Um, I just dug up some sort of brass or copper piece of jewelry, so we're going to see what this is here. And my pinpointer is dying, and here it is. Let's see what we got. I can't really tell and I didn't bring my glasses with me. Looks like it might be a wheat penny. See if we can zoom in on it here. It definitely is. Let's see what year we got. Where'd you go? There it is. Can't quite read it there. All right, we'll take a look. All right, got another nice 81 signal on AT Pro. We can get over this, get to a higher number here. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna knock it back down in there. Where'd you go? There it is. That is another wheat. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get the gear on this one. It's getting kind of dark out here. I don't know, maybe you can see that better than me, but it's wheat. Nope. All right, so I'm back home. I'll give you a final wrap up of my day here. Um, this is from location one, which was the scene of a 1930s house. Um, that caught fire, uh, burned down sometime in the late 90s. Um, real hard to hunt. A um, lot of uh, molten metal pieces there. Um, did find some coins. There's some quarters that melted together. Found an Eisenhower dollar. I think that's probably the first one of those I've ever found with a hole in it. I'm guessing they wore it as a necklace. Nothing real old there. No wheat scents, no silver. Kind of disappointing. Um, but I'm guessing it was buried deeper than the trash, uh, being as old as the house was. Um, location number two, we stopped at briefly, um, set the detector down uh, to check on something and got a signal. And uh, first thing I hit was that piece of steel and then this little pocket spill um, with a bunch of pennies and one nickel. Um, again, I don't think any of them were wheat. A few of them were copper, but I don't think there were any wheat ones. I'll check those later. 
And this was the third spot, which was seemingly out in the middle of the woods, where we found a bunch of ruins from old buildings. Um, two wheat pennies and this strange little piece of jewelry here. Um, not exactly sure what it is, but it's kind of an interesting piece. So that's it for this hunt. Um, catch you on the next one. And if I find anything really interesting when I clean this stuff up, I will let you know.